Hey folks, welcome back to Spay Fishing with John. I'm John Hazel of the Ashman Fly Shop. Today we're on the Rogue River looking for some early summer steelhead. Stay tuned, we'll see if we can get one. All right, folks, let's talk about reading water. So it's uh, early summer steelhead season here on the Rogue, and water temps are ranging from you know low 50s to low 60s. So our steelhead, you know, they're cold-blooded animal. They need they need oxygen, and and uh, so we find them in often heavier water. You know, you get to a spot like this, and you've got some heavy chop. But having fish here before, I know the fish like to live here, but it looks heavier than it is. It looks faster than it is. And sometimes you gotta just get out and fish a spot. So these early fish, they do like the oxygenated water. And like any trout, any steelhead, any salmon, when water temps are, are on the higher side, we're still within that ethical fishing range. But uh, when you think about early summer steelhead, don't neglect the heavier chop. All right, we're gonna jump in there and fish it, see if we can find one. I'm gonna start down there a little bit. Ready? I'm gonna go in right here. Come on, fish. Eat it. I'm going to fish it down to that white water right down there. There's a little groove on this side that sometimes will hold a fish. All right, we tried. Next spot. All right, folks. So today we're fishing both Scandi and Skagit lines. And as we know, Scandi lines are longer shooting heads, 31 to 40 feet. Gadget lines are in that 20 to 25 foot range. So, you know, the length of the head definitely affects how you make the cast and the dynamics of the cast. 
And I think there's some misconception, um, you know, Skagit cast is this, Scandi cast is that, and you have to do this cast with this style and this cast with this other style. But really the main difference is speed and how long you wait. So Scandi line's a little longer, but typically with a Scandi line, we're fishing either a, a, just a mono leader or versa leader and a small fly. So we wanna go slower in general because our anchor is more prone to pull. But we also, because the line is longer, we have to wait a little longer for that D-loop to form. And it's just a millisecond longer than you would wait for your D-loop to form before you make the cast than you would with a Skagit line. Skagit lines are shorter, so the D-loop forms quicker. And because we typically have we always have a sink tip on it. That sink tip and often uh, a bigger fly, whether it's a lead eye or not, but that sink tip and, and bigger fly gives us more anchor stick so we can get away with a little more speed when we make that D-loop than we can with a Scandi. So, so really the biggest difference when you grab a Scandi setup versus Skagit is, is speed and, and waiting for that D-loop to form. So, you can get away with a little quicker with a Skagit line. And Scandi line, you just have to be a little more patient. The anchor is gonna be more prone to pull. And, and that's the biggest adjustment. So when you go out there early season, you're fishing both setups, think about that. Wait a little longer, go a little easier with Scandi. Skagit, you can put a little more horsepower in it and you have to be a little quicker. All right, so this is our next spot here. You know, it's still early in the day. The sun's up, but it's still kind of at our backs. Uh, it, like I said, it's early. It's not too hot yet, so I'm going to stay with the Scandi line. I've got a Versa leader on that just gets me subsurface, a little purple peril. Let's see what happens. There he is. There he is. That's a real one. All right. Well, we got one of these smaller early summer fish in that 20 inch range, which is just perfect on this little four weight sage trout spay and uh, see if we can get him in here. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah. Hatchery fish, nice and chrome. We could bonk him and take him home, but we're gonna let him go. There he is, right there. First fish of the season, we'll take it. <laughs> that felt good. That was a good grab. That was a sweet grab. That was sweet. <laughs> All right. All right, folks, well, that's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in to Spay Fishing with John. We're stoked to be able to get a Summer steal it on film today. We broke the curse of the of the camera. So we'll see you next time. Good luck out there.